Have you ever seen God? You want to say yes or you don't want to say yes? How's you like? I have a question. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever seen God. Well, okay. I feel like I've felt the presence of God, but not where it was so clear that I saw him. God. Yeah. But the question that I have is... Um, Am I standing all right? You look great. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Have you ever seen God? I've never s seen him, but he has done me some favors. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, like in the form of a miracle, or what do you mean? I wouldn't call it a miracle. I would just call it favor. Because miracles are not what people think they are either. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, yes. I have a question. Okay. Uh, what did Jesus mean when he said, uh, whoever seen the Son see, has seen the Father? Because when you saw Jesus, you saw the Father in him, working through him. So... Could I say that I've seen God by listening to you? Because it seems you are Christian, you're Christ-like. I wouldn't recommend you say that. You wouldn't recommend me saying that, but that's because you, you don't want your ego. You, but if you see the light, then that's up to you to I see it. it. Yeah, right. but I just want but to say it. Don't make me not say it. say it. But I do know for sure, I know for sure and without a doubt, every aspect of my life is because he's working through me. There's no way, Jose, that I would know and be doing what I do if it wasn't for him working through me. And the peace that I have, I know it's from him, but I'm not like all into like, you know what, God, whatever, you know, kind of thing. I'm just taking it one day at a time. I still have to do the prayer. I watch, I do the prayer every day, all day now, practice being present. I, uh, I never assume that I know anything or don't know anything. I never assume that I'm right or wrong about anything. I'm just living my life, and it's amazing. It really is amazing. With no assumption. Get rid of all assumptions. All assumptions. Did I see your hand? Oh, and then yours, huh? Let me take here, and then there, we are out of here. <clears throat> is that what you meant? I'm by sorry? Is it the answer you gave, is that what you meant by he's done me some favors? You know, I would say little silly, silly things to him. Okay. Like, I remember when I was a kid, and all the adults were saying that God existed. But I was a kid. I didn't know if he existed or not. And I remember saying to him once that, okay, God, I was walking down the road. I said, okay, God, if, this, if you really exist, let it rain. The first thing about rain, let it rain in the West over there. And right away, it just started raining. But I was a kid, about six, seven, eight years old. I'm like, what the? <laughs> and then I said, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so then. And then I said, okay, you let it rain. So if you are really r real, let it thunder over there. And right away, it thundered. There was no clouds, no, right, no nothing. And the rain came, and the thunder happened, and it was done. So even now, I know. It's amazing what happens. So when you ask the question, have you seen God? I don't, you do the yes or no thing, but what if the answer is like partially glimpses, but not like I see you or the chair. I've seen glimpses of God. Is you that, have seen glimpses? Of course, we all have. I'm sorry? We, I feel like we all have. And what did it, the glimpse look like? Anytime you see anything on the earth that's natural, including people, that's a glimpse of God. Really? Well, everybody say that. That's why I ask, maybe, maybe because the Christians true. always said, oh, I see God. I'm like, yeah, where did you see him? Oh, when I look at the trees. Right. Oh, when I look at the flowers. And all they're doing is saying what somebody else said about the flower and the tree. They don't see God. Yeah, but it's but his creation. I'm not creation. saying you don't see him, I'm just no, saying. But it's his creation. And I'm like, was he behind the tree or in front of the tree? So you're asking, do you see actual God, not his, not his product? What? You're saying, did you see the, the being of God, not the product of God? 
when I asked ask that question, it was just a I had no idea about how uh, any particular right. way. It's just that I hear the Christians and other people say they see God all the time. Right. I, I, I just ask because they can never tell me how they saw him. Well, I'm only saying because they're, I, that's evidence of the creation. But when you see human beings, you don't see God. Well, it says God created us in his image. Right. But that doesn't mean when you see human beings, you see God. I promise you, when you see human beings, you see evil. Fair you enough. don't see God. In you the creation, see nothing but evil. In the shell of God. I'm sorry? So if he said that he created us on our own image, that still doesn't, you, that can both be right. You're seeing when the shell. When people think but, of create, God created them in his image, they're thinking physically. Yeah. But that's not evidence. what he meant. Right. He did not mean I created you physically in my image. He just put this, this coat on you so you can function in the earth, but you're not the coat. You're not the physical. Right. So he didn't, he didn't mean physical. What did he mean? But you're thinking that he meant physical, so you think that every time you see somebody, no. you see God, but you're not. Okay, so then what did he mean when he said, I created man in my own image? Spiritual. He is a spirit. He's not a physical. And he asked a question about when you see the, the father said, the son said, when you see the father, you see the son. He, you can see in the, in the son, the spirit of the father in the son, not the physical. That's why the physical die away, it goes back to dirt. But the, the spirit lives on forever, the real you. So when you're out there, you're looking at demons. Demon tree, demon people. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, the question's kind of related to what you just said um, about how you said, let it rain, and it rained. I'm sorry? You know how you said, let it rain, and you saw some rain? Yes. Um, so are those revelations that you see outside in the world, is that from God, or is that just your imagination again? I don't know. I was just a kid. Oh. All I know is it did rain. Okay. And it didn't rain on me, it rained down the road. Yeah. And then the thunder happened, but I wasn't putting all that into it. I was okay. a kid, I didn't know. Okay. I don't even know, maybe God, you know, he kind of probably thought I was playing. Because a, a couple of times I, I would be driving out and I'll say, you know, if this is the right path for me, just give me a little something, you know? And then I'll see like something like a billboard <laughs> and it'll say exactly what I wanted to see. Amazing. So I don't know, is that, yeah. That normally what billboards do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. And then, we got to end. <laughs> um, one more quick question. Okay. Um, so as you're doing this, this pro you know, as you're sticking with it, um, well, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, oh, uh, being present. So is it becoming harder to be present, or am I just noticing more that I'm not present? You're noticing more that you're not present, and as a result, you are present. Got it. Okay. When you can see that you're not present, oh, I forgot to be aware to walk through that door. Or I forgot to be aware of getting into my car. You are aware. When you, when you remember, you are aware. It's only when you forget that you're unconscious. Absolutely. So you are becoming more and more aware because you're seeing what's going on. You can see the darkness. And in closing, the one thing I want you all to know, everybody, you're not your body, you're not your vices, you're not your emotions, and you're not your thoughts. You're none of those, you're not your body, none of those things at all. I promise you that, and that will die if you stay on course. You gotta stay with it. Stay, like you were saying, you realize how much you're just like your mama, right? You, you love having people around you. Realizing it is all you got to do. That's the light. That's the end of darkness. And the light will destroy that. Don't try to do anything about yourself because the devil is going to tell you, oh, now that you know that, stop inviting people or stop doing this. All you're doing is staying in hell with the devil. But it's the light that lets you see that. Don't judge it as good or bad, right or wrong. Don't feel like there's something you need to do. There's nothing you need to do but to be aware of it. And then being aware of it is the light of God, and he will change it. He will, he will balance it out. Because you've got to deal with human beings. 
you got to do business with people, go about the groceries and all. But it will bow, it will work itself out. That makes sense. So just see your mama in you, and invite all your little babies over, no, <laughs> and you'll be fine. All right. I hope this helped a little bit today. Just a little light. All you need is a little light. But you ain't never been in love, and nobody ever been in love with you. That's right. <laughs> when, when you stop looking for love, you will find love. Don't look for anything. Don't want for anything. You should have it all. It really will happen. It'll be perfect. And don't let anyone tell you that it can't be perfect. You can, have, you can be perfect right here on earth because God is perfect. But you got to die from the abnormal state of being. You got to die. The fate you got to die, the not you. Then you'll be perfect. God is perfect. And so is his nature. All right? Do what you want. Again, don't believe me. Let it go in one ear and out the other one because I could be lying to you. And all you do is believe more lies. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you don't see it for yourself, if it's not revealed to you from within, you don't know if it's true or not. You really don't. You're just intellectually repeating it. And the intellect is your enemy. It's your enemy. It pretends to be God. But you have a teacher within, and the teacher will verify if I'm, what I'm saying is true or not. It will be a witness to that. It will, re, it will let you know. If that teacher's not telling you, you don't know if it's true or not. And that's the truth. All right?